Notre Dame head coach Marcus Freeman met with the media on Thursday afternoon and gave a pretty interesting quote. Some of these Thursday press conferences are not super interesting, but this one was Tyler Horker was on the call um, with Freeman. We're going to get the latest on what Freeman had to say about next year's potential quarterback situation. But before we dive into it, hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, folks, head to blueandgold.com for much more on this and other Notre Dame football and recruiting news. So here's the here's the tweet from Tyler Horka. Notre Dame coach Marcus Freeman says he will get his coaching staff together during the Irish's second bye week, which is after the Clemson game, to determine if taking another transfer portal quarterback is the right move for his team in 2024. Quote, all options right now are in consideration. Tyler, your reaction to this? Like, I, I, I believe it was you or, or was Jack wrote a, a good story about this at blueandgold.com. Um, with more quotes and stuff. So you guys check that out. But yeah, your initial take on this when you heard it and what else did Freeman have to say on it? Yeah, it was my story. Um, so I kind of got the gist on all of it. And it was one of those things where, like you said, Mike, sometimes on Thursdays, you're just like, okay, I'll transcribe a couple quotes, put up that story and I'm done with Marcus Freeman's Thursday presser. Today it was like, oh no, I need to write that right now. Um, because yeah, it's it, it's almost like it's deja vu in a weird way because- and really, we're talking about it earlier this year than we did last year, right? Like last year was November. Okay, Drew Pine. Everyone thought that Drew Pine would stay even if a transfer came in, right? Because he's Notre Dame through and through. But he ends up leaving. Not, not you. But continue. Yeah, there was, it made more sense to me afterward. I was like, okay, yeah, why did I ever think he was going to stay? But we're talking about this a lot sooner this year than we were last year, it feels like. It really felt like everything was trending toward Tyler Buckner being the starting quarterback. And then you play out the spring, it doesn't happen. So now we're stuck in this carousel. That's what I'm calling it. The, the spinning carousel in South Bend on the quarterback thing, because this would be the third time in four years that Notre Dame goes to the transfer portal to find its starting quarterbacks. And now there, there's a theory out there. It's already on the blueandgold.com message board posted by uh, an avid subscriber there that, hey, maybe Notre Dame come goes to the transfer portal just to get a guy that competes with Steve Angeli and Kenny Minchie and CJ Carr. And maybe he won't win the, the starting job, but you bring in another guy because there was an interesting thing that Marcus Freeman said in all of this. It's, hey, most teams have four scholarship quarterbacks. We only have three. And we're only going to have three next year. And one of those is not Sam Hartman. So does the number thing come into play for Marcus Freeman? Maybe. And maybe he's thinking, oh, we don't have to go out and get Sam Hartman, but we just have to go out and get anybody. I personally don't like that line of thinking. If you're Notre Dame, you go to the transfer portal to get Sam Hartman. You go get your guy. I don't want to get, hey, this guy could or couldn't play at this school. Maybe he can come in and compete. It, it, it seems like you're – along those lines of thinking too, Mike, where if you're going to go to the transfer portal, go get a Sam Hartman. Don't get just another random guy. I agree for sure. I think this is just, this is Mike Singer, you know, put on his tinfoil hat that <laughs> Freeman's saying publicly, like the, the hey, most schools have four scholarships. Do they? I, Cause I feel like most schools yeah, don't cool. because your guy who's like going into his junior year, who's not starting dips, your Tyler Buckner, you know, your, your, your Drew Pont, you know, like stuff like that. Like if you're not starting by third, fourth year, you're out. So I feel like most schools you have your starter who's, you know, junior, senior, fifth year, sixth year in this case with Hartman, your freshman from the year before, right? So he's just a sophomore and then your true freshman. That's it. That's usually yeah. what it is. So my thought, again, tinfoil hat, is Freeman is saying, oh, well, we might take this extra guy because we need four scholarships, not because we want to, someone to come in to take the starting job, but that's kind of what would sound good to the room. Again, I don't know if that's the truth, but that's kind of my read on it. I, I, I'm surprised Freeman opened this gate or kind of opened the door to this. All Freeman had to say, so a, a, a reporter asks, Hey, what do you guys think about a transfer portal quarterback? Ah, uh, you know, we're, we're focused on Pittsburgh. That's all he had to say. Yes. Not only did he say all options are in consideration, which is fine. Puts a timeline on it. Yeah. Freeman, I am shocked. I am honestly shocked. Now, after that bye week, what is that? Uh, Wake Forest game right after the bye week? After the bye week, yep. What's the number one question going to be asked in the press conference? Now Freeman put yeah. a – I'm shocked. I really am shocked, Tyler. 
this is fascinating. I've been saying for a couple months now, I think they're going to transfer portal guy. I've also mentioned the depth piece thing on my show. I think Freeman must love my Wednesday night show with Tim Hyde. Kidding. Maybe not. Hopefully not. Maybe he does love it. Um, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, like I've mentioned the depth piece thing. It's like, there's not a Sam Hartman guy out there. Um, but I do think they end up um, going to the portal. So before we get out of here, Tyler, any thoughts on my kind of long ramble there? Yeah, I'll just say what I said in the beginning. And it kind of goes off of what you said is we're talking about this a lot sooner. And it's kind of Marcus Freeman's, I wouldn't say fault. He, this was not unprompted in a press conference it was asked directly, hey, are you guys going to think about going to the portal? But that's where he had a decision. Like you said, Mike, he could have been like, uh, we're not really focused on right now, on that right now. Let's think about Pitt. Let's think about Clemson after that. You know, no, he was, hey, yeah, we are going to think about it. And we're going to think about it during this bye week, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, you do make a good point. Coming out of that, it's going to be, hey, how about that quarterback conversation that you told the world that you were going to have? It's It's interesting stuff. Yeah, maybe maybe he uh, planned on saying – I don't know, but it, it's fascinating to me. And from a media guy standpoint, all here for it. Tyler, we were not going to do this video, right? We weren't going to yeah. do a post-Marcus Freeman Thursday press conference video until Freeman dropped that quote. So thank you, Marcus Freeman. And now that. this is the video that people are looking for, though, right? People are going to come to our YouTube channel and say, hey, what did these guys have to say about the quarterback thing? So – Kind of crazy. Always, always something. I want to end on real quick. You mentioned the three and four years if Notre Dame does go to the portal. It's to be an interesting case study. How much? What? What's? What is it with other Power Five programs? Because I'm sure it's pretty damn similar. Notre Dame doesn't want to go to the portal that you want to build from within, but you also don't want to just play a guy to play a guy. You want to win games. So if you can go find a portal quarterback that'll win you more games, you. That's what you got to do. Um. Build a program for down the road is something that's ideal and you want to do, but you also have to win now because you might not get next year. So mm -hmm. I'll throw that out there, but that's going to sign us off for this video. If you liked what you saw on this video, or even if you didn't and you just want to support us, hit the thumbs up on this video. Of course, subscribe to our channel, head to blueandgold.com for more on this update and so much more. Appreciate y'all for watching and we'll catch you next time.